afternoon. Welcome everyone here at the Euro Onco 2023 in Gothenburg. Um, I'm happy to uh, have Professor Sat Lerner here and we'll be discussing the results of the SWOC 1011 trial. Um, would you please provide a brief, a brief summary of the key points of uh, your trial? Yeah, sure. So um, for a couple of decades, we'd mm -hmm. been talking about and teaching the importance of doing an extensive or a more extensive node dissection at the time of radical cystectomy for curable muscle invasive bladder cancer. But the level of evidence supporting that was not high. We really hadn't done a randomized clinical trial. So we asked a very simple question, was doing an extended node dissection in addition to a standard bilateral node dissection. Would that, at the time of radical cystectomy, would that be associated with better disease-free survival and long-term overall survival. So this was a intraoperative randomization for patients with urothelial muscle invasive bladder cancer, clinical T2 through T4A. They could have clinical positive nodes just in the true pelvis. Surgeon explored the extended template to make sure there was no obvious metastatic disease in the extended template to make sure that there was the, the primary tumor was resectable, in other words, not T4B. And if they met all of those criteria, they were randomized intraoperatively to an extended versus a standard node dissection. All the patients got a bilateral standard, and obviously half got the extended. And uh, we showed now with six years follow-up that there was no difference in disease for your overall survival with long-term follow-up with the extended node dissection. Okay, that's a clear message. Um, could you please elaborate on the um, uh, shift in perspective regarding the lymph node template? Because about 10 years ago, the message was uh, the more lymph nodes, the better, but now it turns out to be differently. What's your perspective? Right, well, the good news is we's, we'd been successful in, in sort of getting that message out, mm -hmm. and I think urologic oncologists had incorporated in that. Now I think what we know is that um, the overwhelming majority of the benefit is achieved with a bilateral thorough standard node dissection. So that's external, internal, obturator, complete clean out of the obturator fossa. And with that, you get relatively high uh, median lymph node counts. We saw 24 in the standard arm. I think it was 39 in the extended template. So I think the message is, is do a really good thorough standard node dissection in patients with curable disease, and that's probably all that you need to do. Yeah. Okay. And um, in the light of the results of the LEA trial, um, how should we um, uh, interpret your, you know, the findings of your study? Right, so the audience knows that uh, that Jürgen Geschwind led a similar designed trial in Germany. There were a couple of key differences. Uh, patients with clinical T1 were allowed into the trial, and I think the major difference was we incorporated neoadjuvant chemotherapy into it. So 57% of our patients got neoadjuvant. That was not allowed in the LEA trial. But if you look at the sum of the two trials, that was also reported as a negative trial or no benefit. So now you've got two large phase three trials, essentially asking very similar questions, and both of them show that there's no benefit, all comers that met the entry criteria to a more extended node dissection. So should we from now on avoid performing extended lymph node dissections? So I, I'm a big, <laughs> well, no, it's okay. I, I'm a big proponent of if your patient met the entry, meets the entry criteria for the trial, then it applies to them. So this doesn't apply to patients, say, with predominant or pure squamous or adeno. It doesn't apply to the patient that you get in there and you see positive nodes or a suspicion of positive nodes in the extended template. Um, so, but within the confines or within the construct of the eligibility, yeah, I would say that that book is closed. Mm -hmm. And um, as we near the end of our uh, discussion, I would like to pose one final question. Uh, considering the insights of your um, study, uh, should we re-evaluate the overall uh, value and necessity of performing a lymph node dissection? I want to make it very clear to the audience that the answer to that is 
No. Mm -hmm. Okay, so why do I say that? So decades ago, uh, urologic oncologists doing this surgery showed very nicely that when you do a bilateral standard node dissection, true pelvis, you dramatically bring down the local pelvic recurrence rate. Why is that? Because you're removing micrometastatic disease. Maybe doing a better job of uh, just the whole idea of the radical cystectomy. So there's no reason to uh, go back from doing a standard node dissection. Just go in and do a really thorough job Give the pathologist all the opportunity to identify positive lymph nodes. Maybe that patient will need adjuvant therapy. So, yeah, God, it's still part and parcel of the operation. All right. Thank you very much. Sure. Thanks for having me. Appreciate okay. it.